Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing an 8.5 by 11 layout. This is for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm on their design team. She has a website full of sequins. If you want to save 15%, use my code Jennifer15 on any order that you place. Here I'm showing you the products I plan on using. And I am going to use uh, the Dink sequence which are available they're a blue and green mix and they should be up on the website a uh, photo of my son and we were going on vacation to utah to see my cousin and i'm using all 49 market products uh, mainly the little wood veneer pieces come from some assemblage required that's mk guns shop and she has those available for the airplane actually comes in a different set, but the other little icons, the stamps and the little ticket and stuff like that, those ones do come in that package just like that. The airplane uh, comes with three other different airplanes in a different package, but I planned on using that one, so I placed it in here. These Alphas are American Crafts. I believe those came out with the Heidi Swap collection. Um, but they match this 49 and Market collection perfectly. And the 49 and Market collection I'm using is uh, Everywhere, which was the travel collection before Wherever. And then that other package of foam titles is from Simple Stories. And I'm going to use Vacation off of there. And I believe one other one, In Route. And then here's the 49 and Market negatives. Um, I pulled quite a few, but I end up using the longer, um, like, strip ones instead of the bigger ones. And that's because, uh, you'll see here in a minute, I'm going to pull in a white frame that I don't show uh, on camera right now when I'm showing the embellishments. These are just little photo corners. Those end up not getting used either. And most of the ephemera actually doesn't get used. Um, I end up dwindling it down to just a few pieces and keeping it fairly simple. Uh, part of the reason is because I really like the photo and I wanted it just to kind of stand out by itself because uh, this photo was taken in uh, Denver International Airport, which it no longer looks like that inside. That was like the main uh, terminal area and there was a huge large waterfall that was in the center. And it's no longer there. So uh, that was something that, you know, we'd like to have a picture of and remember. Um, I used to work at DIA long, long ago. Um, I was probably in my early 20s and actually was inside of the airport before it was even open to the public. So I definitely want to keep, you know, little memory pieces of the airport the way it was originally before they changed it. And then here I'm just cutting off the border strips because I do plan on re-adding those back on. Uh, this is something I do with 8.5 by 11. If I take it down, but I really liked the idea of the 12 by 12 sheet, I'll remake it on the 8.5 by 11 sheet. And the way I do that is just by piecing it back together around the outside. And then... Um, I thought I was going to be able to get the green and the blue border around the outside, but I kind of didn't uh, cut down the inside piece enough. But once I started attaching them, I couldn't tear them all off. I probably would have tore the paper if I would have tried, so I just went ahead and I'm at it only in the green uh, 49er market paper. And again, I'll got that one also because I don't want to waste any 49 and market paper. Plus, their paper is very thick. So it would be a very bulky uh, layout if I actually, you know, used both layers of their paper. So here I'm just adding the green border around and it's a very thin edge. Um, in the photos, it was really hard to get a picture of it straight. But it really is straight in real life. Um, and it didn't look like it was straight, but it really is straight in real life. And then I went around with my fingernail and just kind of lightly roughed up the edges around the blue and white striped paper. Uh, the white or the bluish white paper 
background is not scuffed up. Um, it's inked with uh, blue ink. And then here I'm going to start laying down my embellishments. Um, I thought I was going to tuck that thread underneath. I'll actually bring it on top of the tag here in a minute. And that was just a little circle tag from the embellishment pack. And this airplane has uh, tape already on it. So you just have to peel off the tape to stick it down. Uh, what I pulled off the top is a masking. That's on any wood veneer pieces, or for the most part, any wood veneer pieces that you get from some assemblage required. Um, and that's just protecting the wood. Uh, when she cuts it, it's kind of heating it up so it, it can actually burn the wood. So there's a masking over the wood so that it burns the masking, but it doesn't burn the wood. And... Again, that's just something to protect it. So you need to remove that from it. And for the most part, it comes off fairly easy if you have any issues at all. Um, I've placed a piece of packaging tape over the top and, you know, rub it on and then just lift it up and it'll take it all off for you. But usually uh, you can just peel it off pretty easily. Sometimes if it's littler pieces, like this suitcase, um, it has little tiny embellishments on it. Uh, I was able to get them off with my nails, but if you don't have nails or if you just, you know, don't want to do that, you can use the packaging tape to take it off. So here I'm just cutting a couple of the negatives, and I did use my deckle edge scissors to rough up the edges of the negatives. Uh, I don't like the straight ends. I would rather use the scissors and make it kind of rough looking. And that's just uh, my preference. And here I'm gluing down the strings to the tag. The black uh, ribbon is actually from a 49er Market package of ribbon long ago. I'm not even sure if it's still available. And the blue is just embroidery floss, all six strands. And then uh, there's like a white. It's kind of, uh, it's not embroidery floss. It's thicker than embroidery floss. It's uh, kind of like a, a bracelet thread, I guess. You would make, you can make uh, bracelets out of it. So it's uh, a thicker quality. There's the little suitcase and another little embellishment piece. And then the vacation I'm going to place right here underneath the photo. Um, up at the top, I placed one of the foam pieces that says in route. And then um, and I want it to line up straight. So there's actually a line on the paper. So I use that as my guide and the photo. And then I remember that I want to place this tag here at the bottom. And it does say something on it. I don't remember what it says on it. But I'm going to actually cover it up with the vacation letters. So... I wanted to make sure that it was placed in the right place so I could place those back down just like that. And then I'm going to place the little wood veneer piece again. And this one says ticket and I'm going to place that right underneath vacation. So it's going to say vacation ticket. And then uh, I forgot to put in this little tag and I just wanted it over here for color purposes. No other reason. It's just tucked in. Um, you can see it in the close-ups. I can't see it. Um, well, I can't see it on camera right now, but hopefully you can see it on camera in the final product. And again, I'm just tucking in some more negative pieces. And that's again just to add a little bit of the same to each cluster. So I'll have three clusters. And the largest one will be uh, to the left-hand side. And then there's two smaller ones at the right, bottom and top. And... Here I'm going to add the rest of the negative piece. And so I ended up using just two of those strips, one blue one and one green one. And then I cut them into pieces to tuck in and around. And again, that just helps the products go a little bit further. Even though 49 Market gives you a lot of products for the money that they charge, um, I still like to extend my products and get my money's worth out of them. So here I'm adding the letters and I'm going to add... Uh, this is for Salt Lake City, which is in Utah. And then uh, DEN is the abbreviation for Denver. And 
uh, that's what the airlines use. So that's what I used for to show our destinations. And then I will be able to add journaling underneath this. Uh, that will be added at a later date. And again, we were just going to, we went and saw my cousin, actually. This was actually after 9-11. And her husband was in the Air Force and he was deployed out of country. So um, I went and spent Thanksgiving uh, with her. And or actually right after Thanksgiving. Um, but we just hung out and she had a little, she has a little boy that's, uh, two years younger than my son. So they hung out and had fun and played and, you know, we just talked and we were having cousin time and, uh, she was my favorite cousin growing up as teenagers. We hung out a lot, even though she lived in another state. Um, we used to call each other all the time. And that was back in the day when you had to pay a long distance phone call bill. And I had to work and pay that bill. Kids today will never know that because now you get free long distance all over everywhere pretty much through the internet. So that's something that's different for the world. So here I'm pulling in the sequence. And again, this is Dink and it's green and blue, which I absolutely love because I love using green and blue. So here I'm just picking, I picked three of the larger circles. Um, that's like the fluorescent ones that you see on screen. They're kind of holographic. So that's why they're coming off like that. And then there's a lighter blue, a darker blue, and then another green one. And I'm going to put approximately three of each of those in each of the clusters. And then I also added in from my stash flat back stars that are uh, resin and they're just they're flat back on the opposite side so they lay flat on the layout and uh, they are a little bit raised up but not not too bulky um, and I did add a blue and a green one to each of the clusters of that and then here in a minute I'm gonna be done so again, this is for Spiegel Mom Scraps, and if you'd like to pick up any sequins, use my code Jennifer15 and save 15%, and use your sequins. Put them in as little finishing touches on all your layouts. I love the little sparkle and shine that they add to layouts without being messy. And there you go. Finished layout. Bye!